What is up YouTube? It is Mark again and welcome back to Swamp and Stomp. As you guys may know, gator tags were recently drawn and that means that a lot of people out there got their gator tags and they're starting to think about where they're going to hunt for gator season. I'm one of those people. I managed to get some tags for uh, Alachua County. Now last season uh, we did a video that was actually my first real gator hunt and you can watch that right here. But we were using my buddy's gear. Uh, this year I wanted to be fully prepared myself, so I went ahead and I bought the gear that I needed. So right here, this is a Gator Pro bang stick. Now these bang sticks, you can find a lot of information about them uh, all over YouTube. Um, and they're, they're basically known as like the best bang stick that money can buy. But I'm not going to get into the details of it, because like I said, you can find uh, plenty of information about this particular bang stick online. Now one thing you don't seem to find a whole lot of information about is another tool that gator hunters like to use and that is the harpoon. Now the harpoon is a really useful tool because essentially what you could do is using a long stick you can stab a, a little dart just like this right through the skin of the gator because their skin is so tough when this goes through so imagine that's the gator's skin when that dart goes through and you pull back this folds like that and sits on the inside of their skin and it gives you a really good hold on that alligator and gets you a lot of control. Plus it's, a, it's really easy to get it into the gator. So this seemed like a really useful tool for me to, uh, to use and Gator Pro does sell them if you want to check them out. Uh, they're like 150 bucks and they're, they're very similar to this. You know, This is an aluminum uh, pole that's welded shut on both sides so it's filled with air so it floats. Um, their harpoon is very similar to that. But for me, I just felt like this is a really simple tool um, and I should be able to build one myself. So I went ahead and I bought this dart from them. So today I'm going to very simply and relatively quickly build myself a harpoon around this tip. Oh, and before I forget, I just want to remind you guys that we're currently giving away a free Summit Viper SD tree stand. It's the same one that me and Danny use. We absolutely love them. We wanted to share it with one of you guys that might be just starting to get into hunting or you just want to upgrade your gear. And all you have to do to win it for free is make sure that you're subscribed and drop a comment on this video up here. So make sure you go to this video and drop a comment or you will not be entered. There's also two other ways to get more points into the raffle that are described in that video. I have a 10 foot, uh, one and a quarter inch dowel here. I picked out the straightest one I could get. And this is probably longer than I want the harpoon to be, but I figure I can always cut some off later if I want to. So I'm not going to make that decision right now. Um, but anyway, uh, the basic idea is going to be that we're going to take this 3 8 inch uh, galvanized bolt. We're going to drill a hole in the end of here. We're going to embed this in there with some 5200. Then we're going to cut the head off of this. We're going to um, shape this down so that this dart fits perfectly over the top of it. Um, and then to give it a little extra reinforcement to prevent that from, from like torquing sideways, I got this piece of pipe, this is galvanized pipe, and we're going to sand down the outside of this dowel and fit this over top of it um, and use some, 50, or some, uh, uh, some epoxy to hold that in place. And that will basically be it, and then I'm just going to run stain over this uh, to waterproof it, and, um, and it'll be good to go. Alright, so I've got a 3 8 inch drill bit, and I'm going to try my darnest to make this thing go right down the center. And to make sure it is, I'm just basically going to stick this screw in there every now and then to make sure I'm doing what I meant to do. So as you can see that goes in there pretty straight. All of these steel parts when they are stored in the warehouse they tend to uh, cover them in like a grease 
to prevent them from rusting. So I'm going to take this to the kitchen and I'm going to wash it down real good with uh, dish soap because I don't want any of that grease to get onto this dowel because eventually I need this pipe to uh, adhere to the dowel using um, epoxy. So this needs to be grease free. Alright, so the next step is I'm going to start uh, sanding down this dowel so that this little metal pipe is going to fit over it. So I'm going to use this, uh, I don't even know what it's called, but it's like a sanding belt situation. This stuff is actually used for rod building, for shaping the handles of a fishing rod. Uh, but I've used it for all kinds of things. You may have seen me use this uh, in the video where I was building um, a knife. You can check that one out right here. But anyway, this is what I'm going to use. It makes it really easy to sand round objects. All right, so I've been sanding the end of this dowel for a little while now, and it's gotten to the point where I can uh, I can kind of start to slip this uh, piece of metal over it. And it's obviously just a really tight fit, um, and I, I don't think I don't, I don't think I'm ever going to get to a point where it's easy unless it's too loose. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to mix up the epoxy, and uh, they weren't they ran out of JB Weld or at least the, the fast carrying one, so I got a new one. I'm sure it's all the same, but this is made by Gorilla Glue. It's a heavy-duty Gorilla Weld. I'm sure it's the same stuff. Um, I'm going to put a nice, uh, generous coating of it on this dowel. And then I'm going to put the, the metal pipe over it. And I'm actually going to use this big mallet. And I'll put the, the dowel against the concrete wall. And I'm going to use this to tap it on. Uh, all the way to the bottom. This stuff stinks. It's a lot softer. This is a lot more like a glue, I guess. Oh, God, that smells terrible. This is a 10 minute cure time. So, I'm gonna kinda hurry up, get this stuff on here. So as you can see, I'm kind of going all the way to the end because I want this stuff to sort of work like a lubricant when I'm smacking that um, that pipe to go on here. I'm going to start this going. It actually goes on pretty well just by hand. Let's see. I'm just going to take my finger and I'm just going to run right around the outside just to create a nice seam. Oh, wow, this stuff's already starting to harden. Wow. So I just did that because I wanted it to be waterproof. While that dries, it's time to start working on the tip. Well, I apologize. I thought the camera was rolling and I already cut off the head of this bolt. I use an angle grinder, but you could do it with a hacksaw if you wanted to. So first, I'm going to take material off of uh, this bolt using a hand file and a vise. And this is just good to remove material but it makes it not very smooth so later I'm going to polish it up so that the dart can go on and off very easily. So we're just about there. It's a pretty good fit. I want to make it nice and smooth, so I'm going to put the file on here and use the drill to spin it. So now, I put the slip tip on there, 
it's smooth like butter and there will even be a little bit of lubrication so that this just comes off real easily when I harpoon. I'm going to mix up more than I need. Mix a bunch up because I want to coat the whole bottom of the, uh, the dowel so that it is waterproof. And uh, just so you guys know, this stuff does harden just like JB Weld. Uh, this stuff that I already did here is rock solid now. So even though it, it has a different consistency to start with, which was unexpected. Anyway, we'll mix these up. God, this stuff really, really stinks. It is unpleasant. And I'm basically just going to coat a good portion of the tip of the bolt. good glob and, and I'm putting more on the front than I am like further back because it'll squish its way back as it goes in. That went in very smoothly. Give it a couple little taps so it's all the way seated. Oop. Almost got that all over my handle. Now I'm just going to take the remains and I'm going to fill in this cap. And I'm going to make this completely waterproof. Alright, so this is just about done drying. So let me show you what we got going on. So this is what I did on the end here. There's a bunch of this uh, JB Weld stuff. That's kind of just filling in the end, and that way the wo the wood that's underneath here is protected from the water. So here's the finished product. As you can see, I stained it. Let me see if I bring it closer without moving. Oh, dog. As you can see, it looks kind of cool. And uh, but really, I did this just to protect the wood when it's uh, submerged in the water and all that stuff. And um, Anyway, so I just want to show you how it works. It's really quite simple. Um, so, here is uh, the tip that I showed you guys several times. Um, so basically, you just slip the tip right over the slip tip. And then, you pull this down and right along the shaft where the, uh, where the cable on the tip has a little loop, we're going to take a little bit of electrical tape, six inches or so, we're going to go through that loop, and you tape this onto the shaft. You don't want too much tape because you want it to rip off if once you stab this into a gator. But Basically, by taping it off like this, it prevents the tip from coming loose. So the tip is kind of permanently on there, but loosely attached, so that once I stab that through the skin of the alligator, and I pull this back, this little cable will just rip right off of the shaft, and, uh, and it'll be good to go. Now I have this rope tied off to a makeshift buoy. Really simple. It's just a laundry uh, softener jug, and I have a bunch of paracord attached to that. And that's pretty much how it works. Again, this cost me $30 to make. I hope that was helpful for you guys. Um, and I really advise, if any of you guys are looking for a harpoon for gator hunting, you try and just build one yourself. There's a million different ways to do it. This is just what I thought of uh, based on the things I was able to find at Home Depot. So. Send us a message, show us what you came up with, or if you try this, let us know how it works out for you guys. 
Thank you guys for watching. And if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure that you do it now. You can click somewhere around here in the little ball. Um, that'll get you subscribed. That way you can see all the videos we put out about actually using this to do a gator hunt, as well as our deer season and all the other stuff that we're up to. So again, thank you all for your support. We'll catch you guys next time.